My name is Justin Robinson, and this is me, playing basketball by myself, which was something I always did with my brother for the first almost 18 years of my life. Jordan, who was my best friend and hero, died of cancer in 2008. In 2012, I started making a documentary about his life, death, and our tight relationship. I exported the final film on January 7th, 2020. Eight years later, the deed was finally done. And I collapsed to the ground in my apartment, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially spent. When I set out to make this movie, I didn't have any specific dreams of film festivals or streaming services. The only hope I had was for it to be seen by as many people as possible. During the process of trying to figure out where to put my movie, numerous people told me it was too long, too short, too this, and too that. But worst of all, I was told that it was too personal to be universal. I politely disagreed and stayed the course, and then COVID hit. And after numerous conversations with my gut, I realized that the most Justin Robinson thing I could do is to put it on Vimeo and YouTube for free on the 12 year anniversary of Jordan's death. Everyone who ever met my brother was better for it. I had seen him interact with people in every walk of life all over the world. So I knew Jordan was universal and I knew that anyone who saw this documentary would be impacted by it. But what I didn't know is that his story would make waves globally, at least not this fast. In less than three months of being available online, my brother Jordan has surpassed 10 million views. My brother Jordan. 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 In other words, it was trending. This review on Letterboxd sums up how I feel about this whole situation. It's exciting to see something so uncompromisingly personal find such a massive audience without traditional film distribution. Go make your movie, tell your stories. Most of the views are due to the documentary mysteriously and magically finding its way into the whitewater rapids of the YouTube algorithm, which basically put Jordan's face on the home and or recommended page of YouTube accounts all over the world, making his life story just one click away. That was really good. Along with that, it went viral on TikTok of all places. People started making reaction videos, filming themselves before, during, and after the documentary. I never cried over something this much on YouTube or any movie in general, so you already know this is a good one. At first, I wasn't sure what kind of fad this was. Some of them felt somewhat superficial, but most of them feel radically genuine. So inspirational, but at the same time, it's so heartbreaking to watch. Watching a generation of mainly high schoolers grow in empathy should be an encouragement for this hardened world. When people ask me, who do I want to be? Who do I want to be like? It's like, I want to be like Jordan and live my life as full as Jordan did. It helped to put into words all of the feelings that I feel um, as far as like losing a loved one. Your documentary was literally the greatest documentary I have ever seen in my life. Since the doc has come out, my YouTube subscriber count went from 6,000 to over 87,000 currently. My Instagram following has tripled and I've gotten thousands of messages from people all over the world on social media in support of the doc and sharing in their own stories of love and death and grief. For the first time in a long time, I haven't felt alone. And the moment I clicked on that video, I just knew it's something very special. It was a gut punch for me. I felt like I knew Jordan. I felt like he knew me. This documentary is what we all needed. What a perfect time for it to come out in the middle of all this chaos in the world. Probably the best hour I've had all year, honestly, watching this film. It's just really, really cool how Jordan's story is just getting spread to so many people who, um, without this documentary, would have never even known who he was. You know, I was in a very bad place when I saw the documentary and your brother's story inspired me to, you know, push myself and get back stronger. Thanks a lot for sharing it with the world, man. I've also been able to carry the torch of Jordan's story via podcast and articles, and fans of the documentary have been inspired to create artwork in Jordan's honor. And some have even used the doc for school projects. What Justin has done is he's been completely unabashed and unashamed to, to share 
both how beautiful Jordan's life was and, and how grueling it was to lose him. And I think for any audience member, that's all you can ask is uh, for sincerity. And this movie, though it's a hard watch because you know how it ends, it's breathtaking to experience. One of the brilliant and more fun aspects of this wild experience is finding out how certain people somehow came across the documentary. For example, the legendary actress Jane Lynch somehow saw it and she tweeted it. I found this out because somebody of the 34,000 comments on YouTube said, Jane Lynch brought me here. And I was like, Jane Lynch? Like, the Jane Lynch? It was the Jane Lynch. My Brother Jordan is a film that is just bursting with love and joy and the gut wrench of loss. And it fairly broke my heart. Another example is Polly Perrette, the pigtail star of NCIS for like a million seasons, somehow saw it, followed me on Twitter. I messaged her. We struck up a conversation. We ended up on the phone talking about the documentary and life and how she knows everybody in the world. She was also gracious enough to send me a video. I have no idea um, how I f randomly found Justin's movie, My Brother Jordan. It was a total God thing, <laughs> for real. Um, but it's so good. Um, Y'all know I love documentaries and I'm a documentary filmmaker myself. It made me cry, but it made me laugh. And I never met Jordan, but I miss him. One of the many things about the internet is you never know who is watching what you make unless they post it or tag you. That helps. But again, you never know. So to anybody who's seen it, holla at your boy. Justin, I can't thank you enough for being willing to share this beautiful, heartbreaking story with the world. It really got me thinking as a filmmaker about the kinds of stories that I want to tell. And quite frankly, after watching it, I just wish I could just give you a big old bear hug. Well, if, if, if you're cool with hugs, but anyway, here's a, here's an internet hug for you and take care. I am a fan of hugs. Bring it in. Appreci appreciate. Just a little PSA before you watch my brother Jordan documentary that I just shared. Just know it's very emotional. You will cry, but it is such a beautiful story. So there is one thing I would like to address and clarify. A lot of people have been asking me, what's your next project? What's your next documentary? And I'm not a documentary filmmaker per se. I'm a filmmaker. I normally make narrative stuff, but Jordan's story was something I had to do. I needed to do. And I thought the vehicle of a documentary was the best way to get me there. So this doc could be the only one I ever make. I don't know because my hope and dream and goal is to write and direct feature films one day. So unless the documentary was about Pistol Pete or Steph Curry, I'll probably stay in my lane. I am, however, writing a My Brother Jordan book. Because even with 63 minutes and 50 seconds, there was a lot about Jordan's life and my own that I couldn't include for time's sake. And in the same vein, I made the documentary firstly for myself with hopes that the world would enjoy it. I'm writing the book the exact same way. And I will go into greater detail and share things I've never shared with anybody about the whole process of being Jordan's brother. I don't know when it'll be done, and I don't know if it'll ever get published, but I am working on it. And as far as my recent narrative work goes, I made a short film a couple years ago called Guest of Honor. It's black and white, spoken completely in German about some women who were taste testers for Hitler. And most recently in June 2020, I released Snowbirds, which is about a widow who just wants to see her husband one last time. So to everybody who's watched My Brother Jordan, shared it, supported it in any way, for real, thank you. You're a champion. I appreciate it. You know, this project is only three months old currently, and I have no idea where it's going to go from here. And 2020 has been quite bizarre for everybody. But you've made my year a little bit better by sharing in the treasure that Jordan is. And to people who have thanked me for telling his story, my answer then, now, and forever will be. It was absolutely my honor. I love you.